All right, welcome everyone. In today's review video, we're gonna be taking a look at this CRE C1 mini projector here. This is probably the most portable projector I've looked at so far. And as it says down here, it does have a rechargeable battery built inside of it. So that really expands the possibilities of where you can take this projector and use it on the go. It doesn't have as high of a resolution as some of the other projectors I've looked at. This one comes in at 480p, which is the equivalent of 480 by 360 pixels, which is obviously lower than 1080p, which is becoming more and more standard. But this this one should be a lot more light and a lot more portable. So now let's go ahead and open up this projector's box and see what we have inside. So we have a manual here and looking through it, it's not written in the best English, but again, the projector is pretty straightforward. So I don't think we'll be needing this. Let's dig in a little bit further, remove the foam padding. Comes with an HDMI cable. Here's our remote. Here's the AC adapter. Now let's see how small this projector actually is. Yeah, so that is pretty tiny. I like this little carry handle. It's kind of like leatherish kind of feeling. On the back here, we've got our DC in, USB, HDMI, and auxiliary port. On the top, it looks like we have our power button. Let's take a closer look at the remote. The remote opens from the side. And it looks like you need to supply two AAA batteries here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and hook up the DC adapter here to the back of the projector. Red light turns on on the back. The CREC1 mini projector's fan is not very noisy, but I'll move the microphone a little bit closer so you can get a better listen. All right, now that we have the projector powered on, I'm just gonna go ahead and flip this around, see uh, see if we can focus on a short throw. Just go ahead and move our plant out of the way and bring down the lights. So surprisingly, you can get a focused image really close. Uh, if I take this distance measure here and take a look, I'm only about 24 inches away from this wall right now. So that's not bad. If um, Again, if you're trying to use this as a just a really portable projector, they bill it as great for like kids and stuff like that if they're just trying to project from their phone as opposed to staring at their screen all the time. This is actually really nice. And so let's see how this works with the remote here and select English and see what sort of things we can do in the setup, if at all. There's the menu screen. Let me just uh, change the camera angle here so you can see this a little bit better. And I'll come in a little bit tighter. See what sort of things we have under settings. So we're on standard picture mode. These are all pretty standard things, so I'm not gonna waste time looking at that. So let's hook up the HDMI cable. and I'm gonna try and uh, hook this up to my iPad and see what uh, the picture quality looks like. So here I'm just gonna go ahead and use this USB-C adapter that gives me USB, HDMI, and USB-C out. I'm gonna hook that up to the HDMI cable coming from the projector. I'm gonna plug this side into my iPad. So now as you can see, I have the mini projector connected to the iPad. I have uh, one of my videos queued up from YouTube on the screen right now. I'm gonna go ahead and hit play. I'd say the brightness is okay. The room right now isn't completely dark. It's got some uh, light coming through the windows and the picture's not that bad. But it being only a 480p projector, you can really see the gaps between the pixels. So as long as you're understanding that that's what you're getting with this projector, you should be fine. But if I come in a little bit tighter, you can see the, uh, the grid basically between the pixels. So really you just have to set your expectations accordingly. This being a 480p projector, you're not gonna get that smooth, crisp image of something that's a 1080p projector. You're gonna see those gaps between the pixels there. But I'd say the sound on the projector is quite comparable to others that I've reviewed. And the brightness is also quite good as well. All right, so now we're in USB mode. I'm gonna go ahead and try and uh, play some movies off of the USB stick. I have some Halloween projected graphics that I like to do during the holidays. You can do some really cool things here like this cool uh, crow and you can project this on your house or whatever make some really cool effects I've done some stuff projecting some 3d things on pumpkins before you might have seen that in some of my other reviews I'd say this is a uh, very good for that sort of an application for sure I might try something similar for Christmas coming up 
So for sure the brightness here would work pretty good and the sound is loud enough where trick-or-treaters could hear. All right, so last let's try out a Fire TV stick. So it has the USB port, which should be able to provide power to the Fire TV stick. So let's plug that in. And the HDMI cable as well. And I'll just go ahead and carry this over to the other side of the room where I can uh, project this onto a larger wall. All right, so we'll just go over here and select HDMI. Let's see what shows up on the Fire TV stick. And my purpose is to remember. In this series, we will cover races that influence humanity. So again, the 480p resolution doesn't make this look all that wonderful, but it's bright and for casual viewing, it's not so bad. And most importantly, it does work with the Fire TV stick. And now for the last part of this review, I wanted to go ahead and see how this projector ran off of battery, but as you can see, nothing happens. And what I found is that even though the box here says rechargeable battery on it, this projector comes in two different versions. There's a low end and a high end. This one is the low end that does not include a battery. Normally, if you look at the bottom here, this is the battery compartment. And if we just take a peek inside, you'll see that there is nothing in there. So that's normally where the battery would go. While we do have this flipped over though, I do have to applaud the manufacturer for including a threaded tripod mount, which I love to see on projectors. It really makes mounting this a lot easier, especially in the backyard. You just gotta put this on a nice little tripod and you can control all kinds of angles of adjustment. All right, so now as the sun is setting here, I have the C1 projector mounted on the tripod ring and I am projecting it onto the back wall here of my patio. I have the projector about 80 inches away from the wall, which gets me a projection size about, I'd say, 52 inches across. And I'm just going to go ahead and zoom in on the uh, projected image a little bit so that you can see what it looks like a little bit farther away at a uh, wider projection distance. I'm going to go ahead and connect back to YouTube videos. So again, the problem with the lower resolution is that the text, as you can see here at the top of the screen, is a little bit blurry and you can definitely see the gaps between the pixels on the screen but again for casual projecting at night not bad especially for this price point so i hope you enjoyed this review of the crec1 mini projector let me know by subscribing or clicking on the like button below and thanks for watching